Hello, hello, and welcome back. And I think this is video six. Christ, we're at six already. <laughs> That's gone quick, isn't it? Oh dear. Um, right, a couple of things, a couple of updates. I've um, got some new stuff here through the post that we'll uh, have a look at in a minute so we can carry on with the uh, the arcade build. Firstly, though, I um, want to thank all the regular viewers, you know, all the regular guys that have left comments. Thank you very much. And then a new viewer, um, I think I've got his uh, tag right, Mark De Morose. Sorry if I've got that wrong, but we'll call you Mark, okay, if that's okay. Now, Mark um, left a comment and, and said that uh, the problem I was having with the graphics card here, you know, the fact that it's all loose and I haven't got anything to mount it to, well, he, he pointed out and said, well, you've got a gigabyte motherboard there, and it's a GA, G, sorry, it's a GA G31M. And as he said, you've got a VGA output on the bottom of the board there. So, you know, why not try and see if the inbuilt graphics on this uh, motherboard, because it has got a little, uh, I think it's got a graphics CPU just down there, or GPU, I should say. So he said, uh, you know, why not give the motherboard a try, see if it uh, will run hyperspin and uh, see how it goes. So I think I think that's good advice. I think someone else said that right at the beginning. It might have been Steve. It might have been Steve Ellis. Um, come up with the same same advice. So I think might actually do that, you know, to sort of avoid this problem of uh, the loose graphics card. And I can always, you know, go back to that um, if it doesn't work out. So, uh, right. A couple of things in through the, uh, the post this week. We've got the new Slimline CPU cooler that I'm going to uh, unpack in a minute and I'm going to install that. That will fit on there and that will allow me to slide the graphics card underneath the, uh, the monitor. And also, I haven't opened these yet, but we've got the speaker covers, which I showed you on the last video that I fitted in. So I'm going to cut these open and have a, I'll offer them up to the speaker apertures. I haven't actually got, I think I'd like some nice sort of black screws that I haven't actually got at the moment. So uh, let's crack on with that and let's uh, get these two things opened and uh, get that uh, CPU cooler fitted. Well, there we go. That's the new cooler fitted in place. Um, yeah, it went in quite nice with these little fast uh, speed fit clips. And uh, as you can see, that's uh, a much smaller profile than this great monster. Look at the size of that damn thing. Yeah, it's a great monster of a uh, cooler there. So that should give me quite a few more mounting options. Um, also opened the little speaker grill covers. What do you check those out? What do you think of those? I mean, they are so retro, aren't they? I think they look pretty much like what you would have got, um, you know, in an arcade machine in the day. So really pleased with those. Um, can't they were expensive. I think they were about three pounds delivered or something like that from China. It's amazing, isn't it, really? So they can be fitted on the uh, cabinet later, and I need to find some nice screws. I'm not quite sure what I've got yet, but uh, anyway, we can move on with that a little bit later on. So that's the uh, the motherboard cooler sorted out. So what I need to do now is um, fix this into the uh, the cabinet itself. I've also got the power supply and uh, work out where the power supply and the motherboard is going to go. And uh, yeah, we can move on from there. So we're heading in the right direction now. Well, things are moving on a little bit. Um, got the motherboard installed as you can see that's gone in there quite nicely and uh, just fix the power supply down um, just going to use a little bit of silicon on that actually I couldn't really think of anything else to use I haven't got any brackets that will fit so that's just drying so we're now just looking at the the two hard drives that I've got to fit in place and what I'm thinking of is mounting them on there one there and one there um, obviously I haven't got any rail brackets. I had a look on eBay funny enough and there isn't really any kind of you know sort of brackets or cages available. You can get a quick release cage but they're quite expensive to be honest for what I want. So uh, I was wondering that I might be away with just put it on with um, some of these plastic blocks. As long as I watch the clearance on the back door. But I might just be able to mount it with these uh, plastic blocks and also these are quite good because they're quick release as well so uh, if I want to have all, well I will be removing the storage drive at times to add new games um, so that's what I'm looking at at the moment unfortunately I haven't got uh, these little 
screws that you get that uh, sort of fit these sort of hard drives. I don't know if these are M3 or whatever they are. I haven't got um, any long ones of those, so I'll have to order those in. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get that done today. If I can get the, get the hard drives mounted in place and just temporarily put there, then I can uh, basically, uh, no reason why I can't connect all this up and uh, see if we can get it to run. I've also found the little USB Wi-Fi connector dongle thing, which the software's already installed on this drive. That's good. So uh, yeah, that's where we are. So I'm gonna crack on a little bit and uh, see if I can get that all wired up before lunch. So yeah, this is the idea for the hard drive, um, and I think once I get the right bolts in there, I think that's going to work a treat, actually. Um, it's going to fit quite nicely there. Looks a bit odd now, doesn't it? <laughs> and it looks like I've got a little uh, kind of rocking affair there. But yeah, I think that's once that's fitted um, in there, screwed in, I might have to sort of try and make a little clamp or something just to hold it there. Um, but yeah, that one there, and then the storage device next to it there, which is uh, currently it's seeding. I've got that one up on the games machine, and that's currently seeding away. Um, and I've got, I think I've got about nine gig now uploaded, and about four and a half gig downloaded. So my uh, sort of balance is uh, pretty good at the moment. Right, that's good. Um, I think next thing is to uh, connect all this up and uh, just sort of uh, see if it all still works because I haven't had this uh, all going for a little while so I think we'll go on with that next so I've got the speaker covers on I mean what do you think of those guys I think they look the business I really do I think sometimes it's the uh, finishing touches like that you know that make all the difference and uh, yeah Gary they, they hide those holes that I wasn't particularly happy about <laughs> So yeah, I think that looks quite good. It's got that sort of uh, old retro, uh, you know, arcade look. It looks like speakers that you may have had in your car, probably back in the 19, sort of uh, late 60s, early 70s, but certainly got that arcade feel. So uh, yeah, pretty pleased with so those. Side on the uh, speaker soldering, um, not using spade connectors. Uh, you know, I tend to find them a little bit unreliable, to be honest. So uh, it's all going to be hard soldered. Um, which you know might look a little bit neater and it might help with the cable management that's going to be a big issue on this cabinet. <laughs> We've got quite a few cables everywhere and I haven't started on the controls yet. Oh well. So just on the reverse side of the amp here just using a uh, twin RCA Phono to 3.5mm jack uh, patch lead no problem and of course speakers. Speaker cables just go uh, directly straight into the amp. A little fiddly. Never did, never did like these little spring connectors to be honest, not on proper amplifiers, but uh, do the job, don't they? Right, that's the sound wired up, so uh, I think we'll connect the monitor and get the uh, thing booted up. So in that last clip, you know, when I was all confident and I was like, yeah, let's crack on with the power, did anyone spot the obvious mistake? The thing that I'd missed? No? Really? Well, of course, it's all very well having the amp up here all wired up to the speakers and the input, but no power. <laughs> I completely forgot about the power. But luckily, it's fairly easily sorted. The amp runs on 12 volts. So we found a little um, lead here that came from a transformer off a BT hub and just a little solder job there onto this sort of like piggyback connector. And uh, that will run straight off of the uh, the power supply so we're picking up 12 volts but it's those little things you forget <laughs> oh, I don't know it all happens on fed on this thread in the shed I tell you I'm getting ahead of myself right I think now we are ready to start connecting the computer back up I think we've now got power to the sound right let's crack on to keep the uh, arcade machine connected up to the internet obviously you're going to need some kind of Wi-Fi connector so uh, I'm going to use one of these little Plexus WATIs now we've had a couple of these Oh, I've had them for quite a few years, used to use them on the kids' computers. And yeah, I found them pretty reliable actually. I mean, these things are dog cheap on eBay anyway. Um, not the greatest connection, you know, sort of 54 MPS, but yeah, not bad. So that, that's what we can do. We've got to install that into the motherboard and that'll be fine just, you know, for the odd update and stuff so like I'm that. So just sort of setting it all up, plugging everything in, you know, like you do, switching on the power supply. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute. I've forgotten something else. And of course, I've got no bloody on-off switch, have I? <laughs> the on-off switch is still on the case on the computer. So I'm going to have to rig up um, 
some on off switch. Finally, there must be a connector on the motherboard somewhere. I must have disconnected it on off switch, and uh, so not quite there yet. <laughs> Mistakes and all. I tell you, every, every, you see everything on these videos. Um, as I've said before, you know when this is all up and working, you won't see any of this. If you're not, if you're not subscribing and you're not following this channel, um, and you just watch this at the end, all this will be glossed over, and I'll just look fantastic. And I'm like, yeah, no worries, guy. I can build an arcade machine. Yeah, look at it. It's massive. Oh, it's fantastic. But you, you see it as <laughs> the blundering thread in the shed. So, right, quickly got to go up and uh, find a switch now, find the connections and uh, just uh, make a basic on-off switch. I don't know, guys. Okay, right, I'm back. <laughs> what I've done is I've ripped all of the uh, connectors out of the old PC cabinet. And um, we've got the three LEDs here, and I'm not quite sure how they, whether I've got the actual uh, little socket in the correct pins on the motherboard, because although they're marked, it can go either either if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, so here's the power on a switch. So it's obviously a sort of push once switch and release. So if I touch these two wires together, this is live and direct, remember, this should, we should see the fan start going and this should boot, hopefully boot up. Um, yeah. Stand by for the bang. Whoa. Uh, we've got a blue light, we have a mother hard drive access light. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We have a BIOS screen coming up. I'm going to turn the lights out so we can see what's going on. Well, it's, boot oh, it's booting. Very fine pool data. Fantastic. Yay! Looks like I'm in like Flynn. <laughs> oh, there you go. So that's not so bad. So I've, I'm careful not to touch that. But I've got all the LEDs here as well. So they're a little bit bright, aren't they, for an arcade machine? But I can incorporate those maybe in the bezel. So the old PC lives. The old Acer hybrid PC lives again. And uh, straight into the welcome screen. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. Even the mouse works. Oh, and there's the uh, Plexus software starting up. Uh, chances of that working. Bugger me. Not literally, guys. I can't really swear on this video. It's, it's actually worked. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm made up. Absolutely made up. Oh, there we go. So we have, We should now have internet, internet access. It's got lots of little... Uh, Oh no, sort of error things come up here on the taskbar. You might not able to, yeah, 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 okay, no problem. Limited on no connectivity. It says good signal strength though, isn't it? I don't know, should we give it a go? Let's go to Google Chrome. Come on, you old baby, come on. Let's have it, come on. And, so, uh, Fred in the shed one, it knows one, I think we're there. If I go to Pleasure Dome. Uh, yay! Look at that! Oh, that's fantastic. That's working. There you go. Um, you won't be able to see that on screen, but I'm currently 9.7 gig going up, and I've had four point. So there you go. Four and a half down. So the PC is working. Um, I'll just back this off a little bit. Just one sec. So yeah, as I was saying, so you know, looks like the PC is working. Um, and uh, everything seems to be reasonably secure. I've got lots of cable management to do. Uh, obviously, all the controls have got to be fitted on the two little uh, USB controller boards. And uh, so before we get on to graphics and things, and obviously the Perspex bezel. Although, uh, I think someone said they use glass, which would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Sheet. I didn't think of glass, but uh, you probably need to use safety glass, obviously. Um, there you go, might be an option. That might be a little bit too ambitious though. But anyway, I'm glad that the motherboard's fitted in. Um, it's running on the onboard graphics at the moment. I've got no way to do a uh, test on those. Check out the frame rates or whatever. Um, but for now, we'll run with the onboard graphics. Um, it's just the easier, more compact option. But anyway, going to stop it now for today. There's a few things, I've got to have some lunches. There's a few things that I want to get on with. Um, if, you, if you follow the channel, 
you'll know that so there's a little little 4pm little CB upper sideband net going on at the moment which uh, I'm trying to get involved in a little bit restrictive with my stunted Antron antenna but that's that's another project I've got some ideas to uh, get that a little bit higher and also I want to try and uh, still, I'm still trying to play uh, project cars um, racing sim game I'm, I'm really struggling with the frame rates at the moment but I've been reading about some adjustments you can make to the settings in Steam and whatnot. So I'm trying to have a go at that this afternoon. And uh, but for now, there we go. That's uh, that's that'll conclude this video. So you've got the motherboard mounted and hard drive around the back. Oh, I didn't test sound, did I? Okay, just to give a sec, I'll just do a sound test. So let's give the sound a go. Um, just got some of this royalty-free music from YouTube. So hopefully it won't be uh, muted, or I won't get any nasty emails. Um, alright, let's give it a go, see what we get. on the bass, I mean I know these are very budget speakers, budget amp. Um. Maybe when the uh, speakers are boxed in a bit more. It's used, it's good, it's good enough I think, I think it's usable. Might play around with the um, speaker configuration. But uh, anyway, there you go. Everything's working. Um, we've got some uh, music going on here, so that's good. So, I think that's about it for today. As I say, I've got other things I want to get on with. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you want to follow this uh, arcade machine to its final completion at some point in the future, well, please subscribe. You know, well, you're, anyone's welcome along for the ride. But I think that's it for now. Cheers, as always. Thanks, guys. And uh, I will catch you on the next one, probably next week for this. And uh, I'll see you all later. Okay, then, I'm out of here. Bye bye for now.